I don't need to give her snacks anymore. It's fine. She got the bagel. I've been boiled. I'm not baking yet. I will have bagels. I really want to try them. Afternoon friends, Linda here from my fancy homestead. I have just finished work and we have plans to do today because today I wanted some pancakes on my lunch and I wanted to make some and I opened the bag that I had started of flour and it had weevils in it. So it's in a bin now because I do not like my flour with extra protein. Um, if you don't know, Weevils are little bugs that live outside of the grain. They lay eggs on the grain, as far as I understand. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. And then they eventually hatch in the flower and they start eating the flower. I checked this bag, no weevils, but I need to use it up. And I have wanted to make bagels for some quite some time because I ate them as a child and my mom would just give me a bagel and I would run off in the fields being this thing is the best thing ever and she was probably like I don't need to give her snacks anymore it's fine she got the bagel I want to make three different varieties because of course when you make bagels for the first time you go all out or nothing at all but then I have flour that I need to use up <laughs> if there's anything left I'll make pancakes but this recipe asks for 500 grams of strong bread flour every single time so I don't think there's gonna be anything left I think this is two batches and I have one more bag that's gonna be batch number three and then I need to clean my shelves really really thoroughly because I am afraid that they're gonna be everywhere I love that I have a mixer because I wouldn't want to do this by hand so recipe asks for 360 milliliters of warm water and then we add two and three quarters of tablespoons of dry yeast to it and wait for five minutes I don't know if you can see it shall I do it this way very precarious one two And three quarters. I might just have enough for three batches or maybe even less. I have another can unopened. I always like to have an extra just in case that I'm cooking and I need to I run out of something. Now I'm gonna sit and enjoy the lovely weather that we are having today which is a rain and we're gonna start on the rest of the stuff. Part number two. 520 grams of strong bread flour. Took me some time, but I found it. One tablespoon of dark brown sugar. Just gonna pop. And then two teaspoons of salt. This is activating. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a bit of a like um, a lighter, bubblier part of it. It's gonna go in. Um, I want to start because I don't have much time. It's gonna get dark in three hours. This needs to rise for 60 to 90 minutes, and I still need to make a couple more batches of this. So, this is gonna be the plain one. You're just plain. Apparently, you can add cheese in it. And now we put it to mix. I lost my hook. And now that needs to go for about 10 minutes and we will check in with the window pane test afterwards, see if it works. The window pane test is basically where you put it up, you stretch it out as thin as possible and if you can see the light coming through without the dough breaking, it is ready to rise. If not, you need to knead it more. I think it's ready for the first test of sheathing. 
well, window window pane test thing. So take some of it. Not ready. Do you see that? So the gluten is not bonding in the dough yet. So we need to do some more. I have decided that I want the second one to be cheese. So we're gonna add about half a cup. I have no idea how much that is of cheese in there. There you go. Added and then the rest of the recipe will be the same salt flour. I have already added sugar in there and uh, Then the yeast, but I need to wait for the first one to actually come together <laughs> Properly and then we can put this one in and then the third one's gonna be with raisins and cinnamon and vanilla And it's gonna be the sweet one <laughs> So three varieties three completely different things Why do I do things like this to myself? I have no idea. Sorry, sorry. Have you ever had intrusive thoughts? Do I still have flour? Typical. I think it's ready. I did give it some boost with my hands and just kneading. The next thing we need is a bowl and we need to put it in the bowl. We need olive oil apparently and then coat the dough so it's all coated I did a bounce test see it's slowly disappearing so it's ready to rise and we're just gonna sorry I don't have enough room on the counter Whoa. oh wow it's very slippery now <laughs> definitely oily and now we're just gonna leave it for an hour to do its thing and a clean towel on top or cling film or whatever I'm not putting this hand on my face no and it's ready so this is the second one, the cheesy one. I have added everything and there's there's strips of cheese in it. Hopefully it will be okay. I want to know which ones I like. I could be going too much on the first go, but in the same time, I want to learn how to make all of this stuff. And if I don't actually experiment and make larger batches, I won't know <laughs> because we learn from mistakes. I grated some cheese for the toppings as well for the for the bagels when they come out. Well, when they're gonna go into the oven in an hour, may have gone a bit too much. <laughs> we're just now waiting for a couple of minutes for this to rise, and then we're gonna be ready to put this one to mix. And it's gonna mix probably for 15 minutes because the, the previous one took quite a lot of time as well. It's now 6.30 in the evening. If I mix them up, then in an hour it's gonna be 7.30. By the time they come out, it's gonna be 8.30, 9.30 maybe. <sighs> Yay, <laughs> we're gonna get there. I will have bagels. I really want to try them. This is number three. No, no, three, three. 520 grams of flour and then I don't have raisins, I have sultanas apparently one cup of it I will need to measure how much this is because if I like it I will need to figure out how much it is in grams that goes in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, I have that about 110 grams of raisins. 
I just read the recipe. I had already calculated. <laughs> 110 grams of raisins, there you go. And for this one, we're gonna make it sweeter by adding instead of one tablespoon, we are gonna add three. Never forget the salt. And then one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now I really want cinnamon buns. Do you think this will be similar to cinnamon buns? And this is number three. And we are just gonna wait for the yeast to activate for the cheesy one. And then I'll make another yeast for this one. And then we can start mixing it up. And then I shall see you in 60 minutes when the first one is gonna be ready. The second one is mixing, right? Still, right, right, right. And I just, I just took a peek. Is that bigger? I think it's bigger. I think it's like double as big as it was. And it's been what, 10 minutes? Maybe 15? <laughs> I have done all three now and Ooh. ah, you're falling. <laughs> they need to rise for about 30 minutes and in the same time I'm gonna prepare the egg wash which is egg white beaten with one tablespoon of water so I'm gonna just do that and then I'm gonna start the oven at 200 degrees celsius for pan oven or 220 for normal ovens because I have a fan one, we just get 200, unfortunately. And then I need to boil two liters of water as well. Isn't it gorgeous? What do you think? I think it's time, it's been an hour. Apparently you need to do it this way. I have ruined it. <laughs> There's my handprint. Well, my fist print. Oh yeah, look, it's collapsing now. So let's cut it up and yeah. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's amazing. It's very oily though. Hopefully that's gonna be okay. Apparently you need to cut it in eight pieces and then sort out each piece and make a little donut. I don't know how I'm gonna be with actually making the donuts because I've never done it before. Let's try it. Okay, so a bowl. And we break it in the center. Yeah. And then on the pan. Okay. I think I can do this. And then we will need to do the uh, boiling of them for one minute on each side. Oh, this is so cool. I'm making bagels. They kind of remind me of donuts a little bit. Let's bet that I'm gonna call them donuts at one point and I won't even notice in the video that I have called them donuts. <laughs> or triangle shaped because I cut the dough in a triangle and now it's like showing up as a triangle. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty easy. This is, if this works, then I'm gonna make more of these. They are not perfect, but they're mine. And I love them. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Let's go and boil them. And now we just need to pop them in there and boil them for a minute on each side. This is so random. I have never done something like this before. Apparently you need to have four per thing, per pan. 
Yes, four per pan and then you glaze them with the egg wash after they have come out of the boil. Okay, one minute bean. Now we spin them around. I can definitely see that they have boiled a bit because the, there's a little bit of more color to them. I, I don't know if you can see this, but they're a bit more yellow. This is very white. For these four, I'm going to cover them with sesame seeds and uh, they will be sesame seed ones. Four plain, four with sesame seeds and then eight with cheese <laughs> and eight sweet ones. Okay, it's been a minute. definitely still rising up because yeah it wasn't so fluffy before I really didn't want to cook tonight but I had to because of the flour and I need a video to post as well so I'm under pressure and I'm kind of happy that I made myself to do it because I get to spend time with you guys and it's always fun and I get to learn something new you know when you don't want to do anything at all and you just want to sit down and relax for the evening. I'm definitely guilty for browsing internet too much. I sit down at my computer and then three hours later I just go like, where did the time go? I, I don't remember. Ah, I could have done something more productive. And you always think about it later that you, you could have done something more productive, but you didn't. And it's not because I'm lazy. I think I just get like stuck in the stuck in it maybe I'm lazy I don't know but these ones are ready I'm gonna keep that just as the temperature you can see the steam coming off of these <laughs> look how big they are they weren't that big were they let's go go do the egg wash thing I think I'm just gonna do the egg so those are hotter than these ones, these four. So these four will be the sesame ones because I can actually like move them around. Okay, note to myself, next time have a bowl or something because this just doesn't really work. And now these are going into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and I need to spin them around in the middle of the cooking so I'm gonna put alarm on at 10 minutes so I can spin the pans around just in case it cooks from one side more. <laughs> Here's the second one. I know I moved it around a little bit and now it's collapsed but it was above the bowl so it was lifting the... look I just wiggle it and it is collapsing in front of our eyes you see it? it's just... It's just going down <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yep so it is ready, so this is the cheese one I need to find two pans this is the problem when you have three pans and I can't find any like pans the same as I had before so I had to buy like an extra one which doesn't fit this one doesn't really fit with the everyone else so it has a different groove ah, it's very very oily <laughs> Bad hair. pieces again and then we just do the same thing we did before into the bowl and then break in the center there we go done 
and then we're gonna boil them as well. I have spun the ones in the oven around and they look really, really nice. I don't know how they're gonna taste, but I am so eager to try. I can't do I can't do the taste test tonight because I'm on the medication, unfortunately, and I can't eat two hours before it. And if I want to go to sleep anytime soon, then I can't eat. <laughs> So with these ones, they have cheese in the dough and we're gonna put extra cheese on top after the egg wash. It's very dark in the kitchen and the camera is starting to fail a bit, but I think it should be fine. I am sorry if it's like very like fluctuating on the, on the lights, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Need to get all of the sides as well, like, like almost underneath, that's what the recipe said, so I'm trying. And now they're ready. And now they are ready to go in. I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but I like cheese, so there's that. The first ones came out. And now they look very brown. I might need to get it, like, they are very soft though. They are fluffy and there's a crisp edge to them. I think they baked okay because you can see the ones with sesame are okayish here. Everyone's oven's different, so, but I'm just like super happy because the bottom's okay. They baked for exactly 20 minutes. I didn't need to do 25 and yeah. I really want to try one, but I can't. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are they gorgeous? So the cheesy ones are in now and I am just waiting for the 10 minute mark to be done with the cheesy ones so I can start on the sweet ones because otherwise it's gonna be too 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 fast and they just gonna have like too long of a time to be in a hiatus of ah, I've been boiled ah, I'm not baking yet so the cheese is in and I spun it around here's the sweet one I should go down. Wee! Completely collapsed. So we're gonna start on this one, the same as usual. Cheese ones came out and I think I burned them. They are very, very, very dark. And uh, yeah, they are very soft though. <laughs> that is the thing, you know, it's very dark brown, but very soft. They're just coming out. These eight are the last ones. I'm just gonna do a look egg wash again and then I am literally just popping like a, a sprinkling of sugar on top of them and then I'm popping them in in the oven and then I'm gonna start cleaning all of my kitchen because it's a mess <laughs> Actually, I have just decided to give a sprinkling of sugar only to four of them as an experiment because I added a lot of cheese on all of the eight that I had and Mark saw them and he was like Ew. he does not like cheese, uh, especially melted cheese well he likes cheese cheese but he doesn't like melted cheese I love melted cheese <laughs> the sweet ones, ha! Ah! note to myself, don't touch the pan I need to go and put this under the water now Take number two. They are ready. So 
So the sweet ones came out and I have actually started experimenting with time because these were in for 18 minutes instead of 20 because those were in for 20 and they're very brown. I don't know if they should be brown. They look cooked on the opposite side as well, you know, like, ha. Ah. This has been such a great experiment. I will need to feed one to Mark and see how he reacts. And I will have some tomorrow and they are freezable. So I would be able to make, if I like them, I would be able to make them in big batches and then just freeze them for later on. But I think I got the rolling of the, the dough correctly. They're not perfect, but I don't care. They smell really nice and they are very squishy. It's making squish 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 the sounds. <laughs> so bagels, success. I can make bagels. Yay! Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. If you're here till the end, please join my little family of friends and subscribe. Bye friends!